Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to do the next 10 um, challenges on Free Code Camp's Learn HTML by building a cat photo app. So we're on number 11 now. So let me just resume here. And yep, yeah, step 11. Just let that load up. And for this one, <clears throat> if you remember, we've created the H1. Um, I think this is a, yeah, H2. We've got our paragraph and then our anchor tag um, that has a. Um, oh, and there's also an image as well, sorry, um, down here, yep. So that was the, the link. So step 11, a link's text must be placed between the opening and closing tags of an anchor element. So basically in between here. And for example, <clears throat> um, in this instance, we want to add the anchor text cat photos, like so. And we can see here now we've got our link. So that's all we need to do for this one. So let's check that code. Congrats, cool, submit and go to the next challenge. <clears throat> so number 12, um, we can see the words cat photos underlined next to the image and that's here. This is a link so we can click it and it will um, give us a, I guess a, a free cat photo app.com image. Um, or sorry, it will go off to that link. Um, <clears throat> let's see, so what we are done, remove the old anchor text and text below the paragraph so I'm just trying to <laughs> read it all here so yeah <clears throat> turn the words cat photos into a link to this one so what we want to do here is um, <clears throat> we've got our anchor tag so we actually want to wrap that around the image I believe that's what they're saying here so let's put that down here and and that is a, the link to freecatphotoapp.com. So remove the old, oh, remove the old anchor tag. Um, let me just see if that will, no. Um, ah, sorry, I didn't see that. In the text of your P element, turn the words cat photos. <clears throat> oh, okay. So let me take this out actually and put that around this. <clears throat> and then if you remember around the cat photos, there's our anchor tag. And then I'll just take off the one that we did down here. So that's my mistake. Let's check that. And there we go. So basically we're just wrapping cat photos, the text here within the P with an anchor tag. And you can see now we've got our link here. Um, cool. So number 13, add a target attribute to the, with the value underscore blank to the anchor tag. And then this is basically means it will open up in a new tab or how I like to think of it, a blank tab. Um, so a, a new tab. The alternative to this would be underscore self, um, which I believe would then, in, in, let's say clicking on here, we would go away from freecodecamp.org, wherever we are, and we would um, then open up freecatphotoapp.com within this tab um, in, the, in the browser, not in a new tab, um, which is often not the desired outcome of clicking on a link. Um, obviously unless it's sort of internal, but let's do target equals, and this is underscore blank like so. So let's check that and we should all be good. Cool. Submit our next challenge. Let me just ask me later for that one. So step 14, turn the image into a link by surrounding it with the necessary element tags. Um, so that will be an anchor tag as we've used already. And then we need to use the this link basically, um, or href um, on that on that anchor, href attribute value. So hopefully that is starting to make sense. Um, so there's our opening anchor tag. Let's do our closing anchor tag. And then in the opening one, after the A and but before the closing angle bracket, we'll do href equals, and then paste in that free cat photo app. And now essentially this photo is a link that goes off um, well, to this URL here. So let's check that code. Cool. So step 15, before adding any new content, you should make use of a section element to separate the cat photos content from the future content. So take all the elements currently created within the main um, element and nest them in a section element. So what we're gonna do is basically just do this, so section and and down here, just before the last, or sorry, the, the closing main tag, 
and close off section like that. And as you can see, we've got main and then we've got our cat photo section. And then essentially, if you're adding more sections, let's say you've got dog photo section, you can almost just copy and paste that, put in the, the you know, the different links and the different text. And then you've got two clear sections sort of divided out in your HTML. So let's check that code. Cool, that's good. Next challenge. So number 16, it's time to add a new section. Add a second section below the existing section element. So yeah, all we're going to do is basically do the same thing as we did earlier, um, like that. Oops. And then let me just sort of inline it just so it's nicely styled. So here's our different sections. Let's check that code. Perfect. And then step 17, within the second section element, add a new H2 with the text cat lists. So we're going to do H2 like so, and then our closing H2 tag. And within there, it's cat lists like that. There we go. So you can see this is section one, and then this is our next section down. <clears throat> So step 18, when you add a lower rank heading element to the page, it's implied that you're starting a new subsection as we're doing here. So this is a H2, H2, and obviously H1 is our, our top level heading. So after the last H2 element of the second section, which is down here, add a H3 with this text, things cats love. So that's just gonna be now H3. And we'll be able to see that this is a H3 compared to a H2, uh, oops, just missing that. Based on, as you can see, the default um, font size that it's given, it it scales down each time as we add, um, obviously, one to the sort of the H tag from one to six. So six being the lowest and the smallest, and then obviously one being the largest, which we've got our title here. Perfect. So step 19, after the H3 element with the things cats love text, as an unordered list. So unordered lists um, start with UL like that and let's just close off that ul and then obviously inside i assume on the the next step we'll be adding in content in there but let's just do that for now and that passes the challenge and then step 20 we then use the list item so this is an example how you structure lists so these are unordered lists which means it's just a list of items there's no sort of numbers or anything related to one and two um, the alternative would be order lists, which I'll assume we'll, we'll be coming to, but let's just do a couple of li tags here and we have to close those off as well, as we know, and then we want to display three things, um, different things within them. So actually what I'm going to do is take that li that I've created, copy it down three times and just uh, copy the, each of the, the, these individual text bits and pop them inside. Um, and as you can see here, we've got bullet points for these unordered items. Um, so that's, I guess, the default styling for them. I think often if you're working with an unordered list, you'll actually remove that styling um, and sort of give it your own styling or sort of however you want to display your list of items. But here's our list here, and that's a UL wrapping around all of the LI elements within there. And there's the text inside. So let's check that and cool. So if I submit and go to the next challenge, um, I'm going to be covering off steps 21 to 30 in the next video. So I hope you sort of enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.